Hi everyone, this is uh, Driftwood speaking for Gamerside, and today I want to talk to you about Baldo again. And the reason is simple, I wanted to walk you through one of the dungeons that had me um, a bit frustrated, I would say. Uh, it's not too far from the beginning, I've been playing the game for about, I would say, 14 hours and taking it slow, lost a bit of time. And I wanted, I wanted to take this opportunity to also uh, maybe talk to you about the things that I like about the game and the things that I, I think should uh, could improve it. I've been talking to the devs about uh, the feedback that I've read online and that they've read online. And also I gave them my feedback, which in some ways is pretty similar to, to, to yours, I would say. And uh, yeah, so the, the, the point of this is basically to help you uh, find your way in and out of the, this dungeon. Uh, I'm not showing the very beginning of the dungeon because uh, the, the first three rooms uh, po pose no problem, basically. So you should be fine. Uh, and, and we're going to see uh, what, what made this uh, dungeon maybe a bit more complicated for me. And sometimes it was my own fault. So be careful with the, uh, the, the big white dude uh, that uh, you, you, you saw just a, a few seconds ago. Uh, if, you, if you try and attack him with the sword, you're going to get killed uh, right away. There's no way you can survive his attacks. So the, the, the only way, basically, is very simple, is to throw something at him and then to, uh, to, uh, to go and, and use your sword when he's, uh, when he's down. Um, one thing that makes this dungeon um, rather difficult when you, uh, when you discover it is that enemies, most enemies, uh, they respawn, which is always cumbersome when, you, when you're exploring and trying to find where you're supposed to go. And my advice to you, and don't do like me, is when you're in a room, just check everywhere around to see the different doors you can find because you could miss, you could miss a, a door leading to some uh, place you need to go in order to uh, get a key or simply to, to move forward. So that's very important. So you don't need to kill everyone. Um, the spiders uh, do not come back, uh, which is good, uh, although... Uh, for, because I, I, I just uh, encountered the red spiders in, in a, another dun dun dungeon after this one. I have to say the, the regular spiders are not so much a pain, not as much as I thought. Something that I should tell you is that, uh, because I had no clue, I mean, I tried everything, I, I thought I tried everything, and, uh, well, clearly I did not, is that when the, the spiders uh, throw uh, webs at you, or when you touch the uh, sort of web cops that are hanging uh, from the ceiling uh, you get stuck and I, I really thought I tried everything and I thought that there was no way you could get, get rid of the, of, of the web uh, it turns out you can uh, it doesn't work if you if you mash the buttons it doesn't work if you if you go uh, left and right with the left stick you have to to make circles and that's how you do it and then it becomes a lot easier, uh, to be honest. But now, when you're faced with uh, the spiders and they go up to the ceiling, you can either try to uh, <coughs> back away a little bit, but simply roll and uh, and let them, you know, go down, which they they will do if you if you don't stay too close to them. And then it's not too difficult to actually kill them. So the enemies, they're not that dangerous. Uh, the problem is that sometimes. You, you arrive, uh, you enter a room, and you, ha you don't even have time to see what's going on, and, and you get hit by a rat or something. And that is, even when you know and you anticipate it, and you, and you mash the button, the attack button, you're going to get hit. Uh, there's a good chance you're going to get hit, and that's, that's not very fair, I would say. That's something that should be fixed. And I know that the devs have said that um, they, they will probably try to uh, lower down the uh, attack power of the enemies. Uh, usually they you, you lose one or two hearts which doesn't seem like a lot but because you don't get many hearts it's it's kind of hard not to die a lot not to mention the the, the the passages where you die because there's a trap and there was no way for you to anticipate that uh, this this room is not too difficult and I had no problem my first try when I figured out what to do 
is you have to to get um, uh, the three skeletons in 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 their cage. So which means uh, don't do <laughs> well. I mean, you have to make mistakes to to, to progress, right? So I was trying to lure uh, you know, one of those guys uh, toward me, so he would enter the uh, the cage. Uh, sadly, as you're going to see, uh, the two of them are going to to come and, and and join me in the cage. So I'm going to lock them both, which is not going to uh, to to do it because you need to have one skeleton per cage in order for the uh, for the puzzle to work. But uh, the thing is, I, I got the, uh, the last remaining cage ready, and then I simply let the first leave. Then, yeah, I closed it again. And then, and then it was not, again, too difficult. You have to, to, to dodge, to roll, which is really not complicated. I mean, sometimes you get hit, sure, but uh, you shouldn't get killed in, in this passage. Now in this room, uh, my, my mistake at the time was that I didn't check the other the other doors, so I really thought there was just this one door. I'm going to prove to you that you have to be very careful in in Baldo because yes, uh, <laughs> traps are just going to kill you over and over again if you don't. One thing that I think could be improved is hit detection. Sometimes I was uh, I felt I was hit by a, a trap, even though or an enemy even though it was not really touching uh, Baldo, which, which seemed and felt unfair uh, when it happened. Um, so it's not too unforgiving because every time you die, you start over uh, in the same room and usually they, they give you back some of the hearts, even, even if you didn't have as many hearts. as, as uh, I think usually it's three, uh, maybe not four. Um, the, the fourth one I got with a sub-quest in the first village uh, in that uh, sort of uh, rice field, you have to help a, a woman um, plant uh, vegetables. Uh, it doesn't take a long time and you, and you get a heart. And I, I think it's something you should do if you haven't. You can even go back there to, to do the, the quest. Uh, from what I understand, uh, the hearts can be, uh, can be um, won by, uh, by uh, completing some sub-quest. The problem is you never really know what uh, reward you're going to get which I think is also a bit of a shame because sometimes you lose time to get a little bit of money that you don't need just like you can see that you can lose time uh, trying over and over again to uh, kill all the enemies in a room because you know there's going to be a chest and then the chest is just giving you um, uh, some item to get uh, two hearts back in case you, 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 you're in danger so a health sort of potion if you, if you will and that's, that's a bit of a disappointment when, you, when you've tried so hard uh, beating we'll see that in, in a bit it's, it's going to be a long video and uh, I know it's, uh, it's not always very nice to, to, uh, to watch so, such, such, such long videos but uh, I think I have a lot of things to to show and and to say so hopefully some of you will find um, some interest in, in what I'm saying and what I'm showing um, so this is this is another room that uh, requires a bit of um, preparation I would say and something you cannot anticipate unless you want to be ready for everything so here what you need to do because you're going to need the skull to activate the levers and throw the skull at the levers but if you do so you're not going to be able to come back, so which means you have to 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 have three ready. Um, now the third one you cannot just drop because if you drop it, as far as I know, I mean this is what happened, it breaks. So the third one you're going to just uh, hold and carry around, and then you will uh, aim at the lever, and you'll see that the first uh, the first square uh, disappears. And, and that is really something that I had to try first and fail and have to start over. And I guess this is something that some people don't like about the game. As it feels more like an adventure game from the 80s than a, than a Zelda game per se, as, as far as I know. And well, because I grew up in the 80s and I've played all those uh, adventure games and the, the point and click point and click games... Uh, like the Monkey Island series and everything. I, I guess I have more patience than people today, but e even me sometimes, 
um, having that experience, it doesn't make it easy uh, or any less frustrating to um, to uh, walk in circles because I don't know what to do next or where to go, or what I've missed, or simply uh, what to do to uh, to beat uh, a boss, for example. So in this chest, and this is not uh, a bonus, it's, it's a dungeon key, and you're going to, to need all the dungeon keys uh, that are in this dungeon. So really have to be thorough uh, exploring everything. Now one thing I said uh, when I, I made the first video was that there was no... Uh, the general map was not very good, uh, and that there was no way to... Uh, there was no mini-map in the dungeons. So figured that there was no map of the dungeon that was accessible in the menu either. Now, little did I know that there, there is actually one, and I guess a lot of people don't know that. Uh, but that to access it, you need to go to the tab weapon, which I will show you a, in just a bit. But uh, I wanted to share it right now because I think that's important. Because you're going to lose a lot less time if you have that map showing you the different doors and pointing you in the right direction because you're going to see okay there's a there's an area that i have not um, explored and this is probably where i should go or oh, there, there's a door i've missed because i was too uh, hasty to uh, leave the room uh, a little uh, before so like for example here uh, you reach this place and, and like I said the annoying thing is you, if you come back to this place a lot the enemies are going to respawn all the time and makes it uh, even more uh, cumbersome. The, th the reason for that is that uh, the developers want you to be able to get orbs because you get orbs and you have the ability to, uh, to, uh, to use your flute, well not your flute but your instrument and to, uh, to, uh, to be able to activate owl um, let's say uh, devices, but you also you're also going to need um, orbs to activate the lantern, and the lantern is what you're after in this dungeon. And this is another thing that I felt uh, is missing in the game is when I did finish the uh, palace uh, dungeon, uh, which was uh, stealth, uh, not always very easy uh, again, but uh, once you get the hang of it and, and you know. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of trial and errors, and I guess not a lot of people expected that from Baldo, and I understand why some people might be a little frustrated because of that. But uh, once you, you finish the, uh, the palace, um, you may or may not have found on your way, trying to look for your friend, uh, uh, a door that's locked, a door to the attic. But nothing tells you that something important is in the attic. It's, it's not a main quest or anything. So... If you leave the palace and try to do the other main quest, so that's that's the uh, the general uh, map that I think is uh, more zoomed in than before, and you you got a look of the uh, also the dungeon map, which does not correspond to the dungeon I, I'm, I'm in right now, but never mind that. So yeah, back to what I was saying. The uh, the thing is, um, if you leave the palace and you try to uh, say uh, do the uh, black blacksmith uh, subquest you're not going to be able to do it because you you need the lantern but no one tells you that uh, when you go to the the blacksmith he's just simply going to tell you he needs your help for, with the boiler but he doesn't uh, you don't have the key he doesn't tell you that he will just he will only give you the keys if you have the lantern or at least an item that will allow you to start the fire again and it's a bit of a shame because I really had no clue that I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I had to go to that prison to to do that. Now the thing is, if you go to the attic, you're going to find an, an item that you can exchange with the grave digger, uh, and he's going to give you the keys to the uh, to the prison. If you've been exploring the world before, you may have found the prison before, and your owl friend that I have forgot his, his name um, will tell you that the grave digger. Um, will will uh, might give you the key, so there are clues. But depending on what order you you, you play, because you are free to explore uh, more or less uh, any and you and go anywhere you want to some extent. Um, it's possible that you you're going to get to this dungeon and you don't even know why you're here, and you don't even know uh, what you're supposed to get. But you need the lantern. So, yeah, I think that uh, I'm not against games that are not hand-holdy per se I mean I think it's a it's a nice welcome change 
uh, compared to the AAA games where, well, you simply follow uh, an arrow, uh, a quest marker, and that's it. But at the same time, I feel like uh, losing time because you don't really know where to go and you don't, you haven't figured out um, what you're supposed to do next is is going to be a very frustrating for a lot of people and uh, I'm guessing that uh, I don't know, adding more uh, guiding tools and I don't I don't believe that the library books you can buy to have clues uh, count as a really uh, a guiding system because I I haven't bought a lot of them because I don't want to spend the money but uh, those I bought did not always um, teach me anything new uh, really or indicate something like a, a precise location to where I was supposed to go and uh, yeah so you, then you feel that uh, you've, you've spent the money for nothing and that's never really good so lots of traps in this uh, dungeon so you have to be careful especially in the dark here uh, but you're going to see that uh, at the end of this corridor and I'm taking it very slow so I'm back to describing what's going on. And uh, so I'm being very careful. And there's uh, there's light here. And obviously if it's here, it, it means you need it. So backtracking to this uh, to the entrance of the corridor, I, I felt that maybe it would be a good idea to actually light all the torches that... Uh, we're not and turns out I was right because not only did it make moving around here uh, much easier but it actually unlocked um, a place so when you have fire at your disposal and obviously when you do have the lantern after that uh, you'll have fire all the time provided you have orbs on you uh, but yeah check the torch uh, that are not lit uh, because maybe that's also something to do to unlock a new passage and um, and there's no real clue telling you that and the absence of clues I mean th it's it's not like there are no clues in the dungeons uh, we'll see that the last puzzle of the dungeon uh, there are clues to give you the uh, the proper solution but the thing is when they give you the clue you, you're not prepared and you don't realize it's a clue and uh, and when you reach the puzzle, I mean, you've forgotten about what you saw at the beginning of the dungeon, and there's no way you can. Uh, well, I think there, there's very few chances you're going to remember or to go back to the entrance of the dungeon and then and then bam, hit it. And, and I'll show you in in just a bit also. Um, so that's a room that is optional, and I, you know, it took me a few tries to to beat those two guys because yeah several enemies in a very very narrow spot, spot like this one is a nightmare um, because you have so uh, few hearts because you you get hit so easily so that was difficult so then I was I was I was granted a chest I was happy but then it was it was a root right so it doesn't feel like I was rewarded the the right way so another room this this time you have to go uh, here you have to come here uh, where well, you have also three enemies uh, but because of the space you have it, it's a lot easier so you can navigate you can uh, dodge uh, you can uh, you can well it's, it's always difficult to attack and dodge the uh, because they also throw things at you those skeletons are a pain I would say uh, and and when they when you kill them I mean the the skull is dangerous so you have to also uh, hit the skull when they're down so don't don't forget that uh, now there's a switch here. Uh, it's a room I had missed. Uh, so again, uh, running in circles because of my own mistakes. Because I didn't take the time to really check the doors, uh, all the doors that were available. Uh, and and when you when you found find everything, actually, it it, it all makes sense. I mean, you you found this uh, torch. You you have to push it down. Problem is, uh, the skeletons are back which I'm not too sure is, uh, is normal uh, because I just killed them uh, a few uh, moments ago. So I think that that is something that also should be fixed. Uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's a bug, uh, maybe it's not. But um, it's not that it's difficult. It's, it's, it's making you lose time 
in a dungeon where you spent enough time already because the dungeons are long and when when you're having fun it's not necessarily a problem but when when you've been uh, searching for your way uh, searching for, for clues and er everything again it the uh, level of frustration you feel uh, raises and this is not good for you this is not good for the game this is not good for the developers so uh, now that the skeletons are down again I can uh, push this torch and take it to the flame which will open another passage now this other passage is obviously going to uh, be a bit difficult because and and I've edited the video because you start running and then you die because everything falls apart but to find the uh, correct let's say path you should take well you might need a few tries unless you just do like me and uh, like I said <laughs> It's trial and errors, and uh, well, not everyone uh, is very fond of that sort of mechanic. Um, surprisingly, here I had no problem. Uh, I did uh, I did it the first time I tried, so I was pretty happy with myself. I would say, and um, and there was just this uh, skull ready to uh, lunge at me, but uh, I was I was prepared. So it's not, it's not really difficult, honestly, this passage. And then this is where you can finally lower the water. I don't know if you remember, but earlier I was in a room with uh, two uh, owl st statues and uh, there was nothing I could do there um, other than just put the statues where they belonged so I could uh, leave the room because the door had been locked. Uh, now that the, the, the water has left, I can finally reach this this place which going to which is going to take me to another puzzle so I'm backtracking uh, see the enemies are back skull at the entrance so be careful and then finally I can go down the stairs and reach this the this new uh, this new room now well <laughs> this new room is a bit tricky too I was I was in the dark I felt like well, there's a there's water here, it can be good, and yeah, sure enough, I died. But I had not noticed that uh, I could dig here. There was, uh, there was dirt, there was, uh, there was something that could be uh, dug, and yeah. Then you have a, I have a timer, but take your time, it's doable, so don't rush, or you're going to die anyway. And finally, well not finally, finally, but finally I get to this new room. You have two spiders here uh, that you, you're going to uh, kill in the same way, uh, you know, same tactic as before, just roll and, and, and dodge, and then circle with the left trigger to uh, get rid of the, of the spider web. Uh, try to, yeah, stay away from it so it can go down, come down, and then, and then you simply take them down. Second one, same same thing more or less. It's uh, really the, the the black ones are are not difficult. The red ones, not really figured out the best way to deal with them yet. And uh, although have been uh, out of that dungeon I was mentioning before, the uh, the next dungeon that was uh, the dungeon with the blacksmith uh, I was I was talking about before. Um, I have to say I'm not looking forward to uh, seeing those guys again. So here we have, uh, well, I'm showing you the, you have to put the, uh, the, pump, the pumpkin uh, uh, over there and then uh, walk onto the uh, different uh, buttons uh, in the order I showed uh, so that you can be uh, taken here. Then you play the owl song and you finally get to have the lantern which after all the spider webs you've seen in the game before where you had chest you could not ex uh, you know reach or anything feels like okay i'm going to be able to do so many things now and it's great so before that you need to go back now thankfully uh those uh spider cogs they they they, they can be burned so do it even though it, it actually uh, consumes orbs it's okay. You see that uh, there's a there's a blue bar uh, showing that you're using the lantern. So when you're holding it, uh, every time you unequip it, uh, then you're safe. Uh, but I've I've never 
I've never run out of uh, orbs so far when needing the, the lantern. So not in this dungeon and not in the, in the one after. Uh, and not in my uh, exploration of the world that I took the time to do then. Um, we're reaching, it's not the final boss yet. We uh, still have a few spiders to, to fight. Uh, so same tactic, uh, there's nothing new really. Uh, there are three of them, but uh, yeah, keep your distance uh, and don't forget to uh, make circles with the left analog stick to uh, get rid of the web when you're stuck. Because if you don't, I mean, they're going to kill you. Uh, and this is what happened to me for well, a very long time before I realized that uh, I could do that. And believe me, I tried. I mean, I shook the, the stick in every direction, but uh, it's really making circles is the best way I can describe for it to work. So I'm not sure. I mean, this could probably be uh, be improved too. Like, you know, anything you do with the stick, it, it should allow you to to, uh, to to set to be set free. Um, yeah, well, so now, because the uh, attack button is the same as the push button or the talk button, that's something that can be a bit annoying if you have something that is interactive or uh, a friend following you. Now, look at this. This is the beginning of the dungeon that I have never shown before. Uh, and, and look at this. This is when you arrive in the dungeon, the second room you see. Uh, and this is a clue to the final puzzle. Another one is the one on the on the wall here. So that's the main, the first room when you, where you enter uh, the dungeon. And then there's the last one here. But this is like hours before you reach the puzzle, if you're anything like me. So I had no clue at the time that this was supposed to be one. Clue. But that's exactly what it is, because you have the same symbols. So they tell you exactly which statue is supposed to go where. And there are more statues than... Uh, than uh, circle-y spider thing on the, on the ground. So you're going to need that, I mean, or you're going to take forever to, 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 to sort it out. I mean, there's no way you can do it by chance. I mean, I've tried, and, uh, and, uh, and I, I confess, the only way I found the solution was not because it was online, it was because I simply asked one of the developers. So to me, that also is maybe when you see that the player is not finding is the solution is not is is just getting stuck maybe having some sort of clue maybe you could go back to the entrance of the dungeon it may be somewhere uh, i don't know maybe something less obvious uh, but uh, how can you possibly remember uh, i know i would never have remembered so this gets you the uh, the key to the final room where you're going to uh, face the boss uh, which is less difficult than I thought it would be uh, once, you, once, once you understand what to do but it doesn't mean that it didn't, didn't take me a few tries to, uh, to do it properly because yeah uh, the combat system is uh, I don't know if uh, the uh, a possible 60 frames per second mode will make uh, Baldo more reactive and more, will be more precise but yeah, so here you have to hit the lever here, uh, avoid the uh, the web that uh, she's throwing, and then use the lantern uh, to burn uh, the spider uh, because the the lantern is just above uh, the uh, torch thing, thingy, whatever. And uh, and then you have several phases. Obviously, uh, the uh, the spider calls. Um, skeletons for help but they are like regular skeletons so they're not too bad so you can you can get rid of them when you can focus on, on on her depending and and that's it that's the end of the dungeon 